OK, so I've removed all the context um, so that we can just focus on the mechanics of trying one of these questions out. Um, so what we've got is a population that is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a variance of 9. I'm going to take loads of samples of size 4, OK? So there's going to be four bits of data in each of my samples. And I'm going to work out the mean for each of those. So those means, those data points, or point estimates, are going to be normally distributed with a mean that's going to be the same as the population mean that we have there, but the variance will be smaller because I'm averaging out four bits of data. They'll be more, um, more consistent, and that will push the normal distribution curve inwards. So find the probability that a sample of size 4 that I randomly select has a mean that is less than 52. This is what that question is asking. So our sample means are normally distributed with the same mean as before, so 50, but the variance is the 9 divided by the sample size, 4. And we want to find the probability that x bar is less than 52. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. Here's my normal distribution curve. The mean is 50. 52 is over here. And I want to find that probability there. OK? So... I'm going to go straight to my calculator. Now, when I go on to number 7, so menu and then number 7, normal CD, the lower value is all the way down here. So I'm going to put in like minus 10,000. The upper value is the 52. The sigma is the standard deviation, so the square root of 9 quarters. So square root of 9 divided by 4, uh, which is 1.5, and the mean is 50. Press equals, and we should get 0.9088 to four decimal places. OK, and that should really make sense, that it's quite a high probability that you're going to find an average, you're going to take an, a random uh, sample of size 4, and their average to be less than 52. OK? Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because the original population has a, sum, uh, a standard deviation of 3. OK? So the majority of data will be between minus 41 and 59. So three standard deviations either side. So minus 40, uh, sorry, 41 and 59. So if you've taken a sample of size 4 and you've averaged that out um, to be less than 52, more compacted. So think of it this way. Here's my distribution. That's the population. That's about 41. That's about 59. So three standard deviations either side. When you've taken samples of size 4, it'll be distributed like this. OK? So stuck in the centre still, but much more compacted, pushing it upwards, because the areas of these two shapes have to be the same, because they're both 1. So the likelihood of getting that 52, less than 52, OK, is actually quite a large proportion of the curve. That's why that value should make sense.